I think it's the Cosby Show uh, when uh, they do the Ray Charles number. I've seen that episode quite a few times. Baby! Baby! What's that? It's Rudy singing... Uh, uh, the, I thought maybe you would eaten something that was... <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's my voice. That's my voice. Oh. <laughs> Who do you think is the superior Cosby kid? The superior Cosby kid? If you had kid? to pick only one. If I had to pick one Cosby kid, who would I pick? Bud. Uh, okay, well, that's he's not, not even, technically a Cosby doesn't kid. doesn't matter. Oh, he's yes. on the show. He's a Cosby kid. Either Bud or Fat Albert. One of them. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Hi, Betty. Hi. Okay, I come from a world of deep game show obsession, so I can't believe I'm here, et cetera. But, uh, you, you were such a, uh, a competent gamer in all, every game you've ever played. What games do you play nowadays? Do you still play things? I don't have game players that I, oh, that really? I play with because the game shows have gone off the air and uh, I'm, I'm kind of busy so I don't get a chance to throw game parties or anything, but I love any games. I've, I've always been a, a game player, and uh, it used to be such fun when we'd have just a group over at the house, and we'd play charades, and that was, you never knew how anybody was going to act in charades. They'd get a title to act out something, and it got and we'd have Mel Brooks and Carl Reiner and people like that, and Ann Bancroft and Fred Astaire. And it was, it was, those were some of the happiest times I ever remember. Now, I think of you as someone generally who was a guest on game shows, but I know you obviously, you won an Emmy for Just Men and uh, you host off, your, uh, off, their rocker, off Their Rockers. If you could have hosted any of those game shows, one that you didn't get a chance to host, what would have been? Oh, Password. Oh, yeah, because you yeah. never got to host Password. Yeah, well, I guest hosted it a couple of times, but uh, that was because I was sleeping with the man in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> there was the man in the middle who was on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> man in the middle was my beloved husband, Alan Ludden. Right. <laughs> Love Alan Ludden. Thank you, Betty. You have invaded so many forms of entertainment, books, movies, TV. Are you sick of entertainment now? No, no. You've been involved with it for like 50 years. Are you, you, are you done being entertained? Anymore? That was when I was younger. It was longer than 50 years. Um, no, no. Uh, in fact, the, the, the wonder is trying to discover what's next. What is the Vine? What is the Twitter? What is the... And uh, webisodes and how does that fit and how to finance films uh, uh, through the viral media, uh, uh, social media, and, and how to use the social media as entertainment as befits uh, hit uh, FX. So uh, that discovery and the continual effort to be creative, that's part of what makes it all work. What's been the most exciting thing that you've discovered recently? I know the answer to dark energy. <laughs> oh, is that all? <laughs> but small thing. <laughs> uh, and any TV show that you care about? Um, Dancing with the Stars, I really like. I, I, uh, I think there's a, an immediate discovery of character. There's such beauty in there as well, but I think Dancing with the Stars is my favorite show of all time, anywhere, any place. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.